Welcome to the second C programming tutorial. In this lesson, we'll talk about variables and data types in C. Variables are used to store information in memory, which we can later use for calculations, comparisons, and more. To create or declare a variable in C, you need to choose a data type and a name for it. While you can be creative with naming, it's best to use names that clearly describe the kind of data the variable holds. In this tutorial, we'll create several variables, give them values, and display them on the screen. This is pseudocode, but I will get to the real code soon. The way C is structured is you need to have a data type and a variable name. So let's type in data type, variable name. So I just declared a variable. Now I can assign a value to this variable, which can be variable name. And let's set this to 10. The equal symbol here is not the same as in mathematics. In C, the equal sign is called the assignment operator. And this used to assign a value to a variable. If you try to flip the statement from here to this right here, it won't work and it will cause an error because it doesn't make sense to assign memory space to a value. Now, let me put this back to where it was. Have 10 be assigned to variable name. The size of a variable depends on its data type. So it depends what I write here. Behind the scenes, data is stored in binary format as ones and zeros, and the data type determines how many bits are used to store the value. We can assign values in decimal like 10 as shown, or I can also write it in hexadecimal format, which is 0xA. So now let's write some real code. The only thing that's not real is the data type part. So the real first data type in C we, we can use is int. So this data type can hold up to 32 bits. So that means the range can range as shown. I also want to name the variable differently that better represents what this number is. Um, instead of saying variable name, it can be something simple as my number. As an example, Obviously, I want something more descriptive, but in this uh, example, this is fine. If I'm also changing here, I also want to add here. When I declare my variable, I can also assign on the same line. Let's say that I do not want a variable to have a negative value at all whatsoever. I can do this by saying unsigned int and I can say my positive number and yeah, I used to do one two three since I do not want to use any negative numbers for this variable the range has changed from zero to positive four billion so this unsign is considered to be the modifier to int you can also change how much space the data type uses by adding a different modifier, which is short int. And let's name this small num. Something simple like, like three. So the range can be from negative 32,000 to about 32,000 positive. I can also do unsigned short int I could say small positive number let's do one since we do not allow any negative numbers the range looks like this now if I want to store a bigger number than int can hold then we can type in long int and let's name it big num Let's do 
Let's do a thousand. So the range is huge for this one. So it's from negative two to the 63rd power to positive two to the 63rd power minus one. I can also do unsigned for this as well. But since we know that uh, we're basically increasing the range on the positive side, since we're not using the negative side. So I'm just gonna skip that part. So another data type we can use is called char, or some people call it car. But for me, I like to call it char. And let's name this variable letter. So this right here stores eight bits of information. Let's say negative 20. So the range for this one is from negative 128 to 127. This variable also accepts a character enclosed in single quote as shown, like A, Z, or so on. Another data type that I want to share is float. And this is used to store decimal numbers, example 3.14, or scientific notation, example 1.2e negative 38. So let's name this variable decimal num and let's assign 3.14. Another data type that I want to share is called double. This is the same thing as float, but this is double the precision of float. This variable, this data type can hold eight bytes worth of information while float can hold four bytes. So let's type in the variable name precise num equals 3.14159. Let's print these values out. Let's print out the first one. And let me set this up really qu quickly. We can say int my number equals and type in percent %d. And this is where the variable value will get displayed from. And we want to tell this printf function that we want to use the mine number variable. That's shown. Let's build and run to see what we have so far. So type in gcc main.c. Now let's run this program. You can see int my number equals 10. And this is, so this is 10 in hexadecimal format. Now let's print out the next variable. And let's copy and paste this one. Since I am using uh, a different variable, I have to swap it out with this one right here. Since I'm using unsigned int, I also have to change the D to U. Let's build and run again. Now I have the next variable displayed. Now let's display small num. Remember to swap out the variables. And also let's display the correct variable that we're using. We also have to change the U to HD. This will tell the printf that we want to display a variable with data type short int. So let's run and see what happens. Now we're seeing small num. Then let's print out the next variable, small positive number. Let's swap out the variables and change here as well. Since we're using unsigned now, swap out the D with U. This should work as well. So let's build and run.
Now we're seeing the small positive number. Now let's do the same thing for big num. And let's swap out this with LD to let printf know that we're working with long int. So let's run. As you can see, now I have big num. Let's print for letter now. Char letter. Since we were working with char, let's change this to C. This will work. We're displaying char letter equals Z. And then two more. We got this, two more. And change the C to F for float uh, data type. So let's clear this. And now we have this float 3.14. Next one, double. Replace the variables. Place this two. Since this is a double, we have to include L as well to print the double. So yeah, this is the output for the double as well. The size of these data types might change depending on the computer or compiler that you're using. If you need specific sizes that stay the same across different systems, you can use special data types from the sddint.h library. So let's include this library now. So in line two, type in the following. Now we can use the special data types that are defined from this library. Now we can use int 8 underscore t, 16, 32, or 64. There are also unsigned versions of these new data types, which are uint 8 underscore t, 16, 32 or even 64. So the previous data types that we use like int, unsigned int, short int, and so on, except float and double, can also be used with the new data types. This concludes the second C programming tutorial. Thank you.